it's her fandom, I assume it's her fans, her stands, whatever you want to call them. They are coming for her neck, guys. They are not letting her get away with this. Hey guys, it's Murad Marley. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch. And let's get straight into this video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So Billie Eilish, um, they're just really going off on her for several reasons. First and foremost, they believe she is queer baiting, where it's where you pretend to be part of the LGBTQ plus community so that you can obviously gain coverage in a certain way or certain demographics, especially in her videos, especially in a recent one, on the actual fact she has um, a boyfriend or a guy that she's seeing. Now that has leading to the second problem where the guy that she's seeing seems to have been a avid, um, an avid um, Trump supporter or like God contradiction, the great or loving F hater, um, hell no N word, you got that Instagram money, Asian people with a hospital mask on, what the F are you doing? Adele looks like British Miss Piggy, Adele and her Joel don't, I, I don't, I didn't know Lady Gaga was black. Um, what? So this is, okay, so this is from her boyfriend who, the, I believe that was from 10 years ago. So one could argue that, I don't know how old he was then, but perhaps he was, um, young people are saying the age gap between Billy and her boyfriend is concerning. No, because this whole whole Billy Eilish queer baiting thing shows how privileged and disconnected from actual problems some young LGBT people are. All that girl said was, "I love girls," and you guys are writing think pieces. Right? Uh, it might be a hot take, but if Billy Eilish wants to dance around and feel sexy with other women, that's not queer baiting. Yeah, I think the queer baiting situation um, is a little bit OTT. To be honest with you, I just feel like if you're out girls and stuff to, and people are doing up think pieces that she's queer baiting, it's just, it's just exhausting to be honest with you. Uh, but people are really more upset with the whole boyfriend situation, the fact that she is dating somebody who obviously has a lot of these problematic situations and tweets and racist related stuff and very ignorant. But it seems that a lot of her fa this is the hatred and the critique isn't coming from you know the general public per se, but it's more so coming from her own fandom within. And it seems to be a lot happening today. And I don't know if she's going to address it, but only because it's her fans that are saying all of this and they are really, really upset with just the stuff that she's saying. And yeah, people think that, you know, um, guaranteed all the people here saying it was 10 years ago are hypocrites and cancel people they hate because of stuff 12 years ago. Hate is hate and wrong is wrong. Um, yeah. So people just seem to be really irritated. Like, and this is coming from her own fan base, guys. So make of that information what you will, really and truly. Um, make of that information what you will. People are also annoyed with her because apparently she said the N-word. My fave tally ego be young N. He exactly who I want to chill with. Um, it's just all coming out in a weird way. And yeah. I'm not I'm an avid listener of Billie Eilish, I'm going to keep it very real, but it seems that's what the topic on the TL is today. I thought I'd come to you with a quick 3-4 minute video. I am just exhausted guys, I don't know if you guys can tell, this weekend was absolutely just non-stop and with the sun being like 30 degrees, I was, I'm just maxed out. So on a Monday, normally my busiest day, I'm just taking my time. Let me know what your thoughts are guys, subscribe to the channel, click that button. I haven't really released that many videos per day, normally I've released 4-5, to five. I've only been doing like 2 at the max really and truly because I'm just trying to live this post-COVID life and I really want to just, I'm over this lockdown situation and I just want to be out just hanging around with friends and oftentimes I just forget to film and I'm just like, you know what, let me just choose me for, for a quick second. Anyways, subscribe guys, click that button and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.